Shepard, don't shoot. You know me. I shut down the security cams as soon as I saw it was you. Never thought I'd say it, but I'm glad it's you shooting up the place. Sorry, Ranathanoptis. You let me go when you destroyed Saren's lab on Vermeer. Had to outrun a nuke in a utility pod, but it's still a second chance. I don't remember that. Probably best if you were in Saren's lab. Yeah, I'm not proud of what went on there, but I'm using what we learned for the greater good. Not for the mercs. Jador's on a standard power trip. But Okir is trying to do something good, even if his methods are a little extreme. Everyone deserves a second chance, right? And sometimes giving one pays off. I take care of my debts. Is paying me supposed to make up for working for Saren or whatever you're doing here? No, but it's a start I wouldn't have had without you. So maybe I'm not the best example of moral research. But give me a little credit for trying. Now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna run like hell before you blow the place or something. I know how you work. You'd think a scientist would be more likely to learn from her mistakes. Here you are. I've watched your progress. This might be useful. It's about time. The batteries on these tanks will not wait while you play with these idiotic mercs. Not the smartest way to greet the heavily armed group that just kicked in your door. I'm sure whoever sent you doesn't want me dead. No one looks for me without a motive. Certainly not the deceased Shepard. Surprised. Old Krogan should know you. I'm sure Rana has already revisited your actions on Vermeer. I'm sure you're eager to retell the story. Such a tale. Saren, the Spectre Traitor, threatens the return of the Krogan Horde by curing the Genophage, undoing the gentle genocide of the Turians and Salarians. But before Saren can deliver his endless troops, in rides Shepard, securing victory through nuclear fire. I like that part. It has weight. I make no apologies. It was the most efficient solution. But I approve. Saren's pale horde were not true Krogan. Numbers alone are nothing. The mistake of an outsider. One that these mercenaries have also made. I gave their leader my rejects for her army. But she grows impatient. It's time for you to take me out of here. We have come only because you dealt with the Collectors. I see. Yes. Collector attacks have increased. A human concern. My requests were focused elsewhere. I acquired the knowledge to create one pure soldier. With that, I will inflict upon the Genophage the greatest insult an enemy can suffer. To be ignored. Your search for the perfect soldier created a lot of failures. You don't care about them? I failed no one. My rejects are exactly what Jador asked for. She simply lacks the ability to command. They are strong, healthy, and useless to me. I need perfection. If a few thousand are rejected, so be it. My work will purify the Krogan. We will not be restored. We will be renewed. I thought the Krogan ideal was a return to the numbers that threatened the galaxy. We will not need numbers. My soldier is a template. It is a greater threat than all the phantom siblings that would have been at its flank. The galaxy still bears the scars of the Horde, but it will learn to fear the lands. What did you get from the Collectors? I need whatever you know about them. They are strange, 
So isolated, yet very available when your sacrifice is big enough. I gave them Mini Krogan. I may have information for you, but the tech was consumed in my prototype. After I determined how to use it without killing the subjects. The deaths were unfortunate, but I only need one success to start the process. So you don't want to cure the genophage? Contrary to what survivors claim, the genophage does not produce strong Krogan. The only quality it filters is the ability to survive the genophage. For every thousand stillborn, too many weaklings live. Every survivor is branded as precious. That's produced more cuddling than your collective human teats. I say, let us carry the genophage. Let a thousand die in a clutch. We will defeat it by climbing atop our dead. That is the Krogan way. I'm getting you out of here. Cerberus has interrogators who can figure out if you're useful or not. Any group that spent enough to rebuild you won't care what it does to me. Perhaps we can strike a deal. One that secures my prototype. It is key. Attention! I have traced the Krogan release. Oh, here, of course. I'm calling blank slate on this project. Gas these commandos and start over from Okir's data. Flush the tanks! She's that weak will. She'll kill my legacy with a damn valve. Shepard, you want information on the collectors? Stop her. She'll try to access contaminants in the storage bay. Sorry, Doctor. It appears your position is just weakened. I understand, but you'll have nothing if she poisons us all. Jador will be with the rejected takes. Kill her. I will stay and do what must be done. has initiated something. Shepard, the lab alarms coincided with the system's failure. The remaining lab systems are unprotected, and I have gained limited access. According to lab scanners, the room is flooded with toxins and Okir's personal life signs are failing rapidly. I recommend haste. He killed so many, but vented the tanks into the room to save this single Krogan? We don't know what sort of knowledge Okir planted in him. A pure Krogan could pack a hell of a punch. We can always use another heavy hitter. If he'll even help. I doubt anyone's ever asked for his opinion on anything. Normandy, Okir is a no-go, but we have a package that needs retrieval. And he's a big one.
Bringing the Krogan for study makes sense, but I have concerns about waking it. Yeah, you've said that a few times now. A normal Krogan is dangerous. This one was created and likely educated by a madman. I see everyone's enjoying the new paperweight. Concerns? We don't know anything about it, Commander. I know. You don't find that interesting? Krogan fight well at close quarters. Perhaps awakening him in a confined space wouldn't be prudent. Noted. The cargo hold is safe enough while I decide what to do with him. Is it true we have a pod containing a baby Krogan down in the cargo hold? Not a baby. He's a full-grown super soldier ready for combat. Please be careful if you decide to... birth him. His personality is completely unknown. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Thane would like to see you down in life support on the crew deck. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Commander. I assume everything's going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. That's it for now. See you, Commander. The subject is stable, Shepard. Integration with onboard systems was seamless. Stand by. I'm gonna open the tank and let him out. Cerberus protocol is very clear regarding untested alien technology. I won't be second-guessed on my own ship by my own ship. Do it. Very well, Shepard. The controls are online. The switch and consequences are yours. Commander Shepard, and I don't take threats lightly. I suggest you relax. Not your name. Mine. I'm trained. I know things. But the tank, Okir couldn't implant connection. His words are hollow. Warlord, legacy, Grunt. Grunt. Grunt was among the last. It has no meaning. It'll do. I am Grunt. If you are worthy of your command, prove your strength and try to destroy me. Why do you want me to try to kill you? Want? 
I do what I'm meant to. Fight and reveal the strongest. Nothing in the tank ever asked what I want. I feel nothing for Okir's clan or his enemies. That imprint failed. He has failed. Without a reason that's mine, one fight is as good as any other. Might as well start with you. I took you and I released you. Follow my command and you'll have purpose. Nothing in the tank imprints indicated humans could be so forceful. You command as though you've earned it. My enemies threaten galaxies. Everyone on my ship has earned their place. Hmm. Hmm. That's... acceptable. I'll fight for you. I'm glad you saw reason. Huh? <laughs> Offer one hand, but arm the other. Why, Shepard? If I find a clan, if I find what I... I want, I will be honored to eventually pit them against you. Shepard? Anything in your tank imprints that can make use of the resources we found? Mm, might have something I could put together. Don't know how useful it will be. Shepard? That's all for now. Shepard? Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Shepard. Is there something wrong? Yes. Now that you are here, though, it seems more difficult to talk about. Are you feeling sick? I could get the doctor. No, no. Though I suppose that is a part of it. My mortality has me dwelling on things. I had a family once. I still have a son. His name is Kolyat. I haven't seen him for a very long time. Did something happen to them? I abandoned them. Oh, not all at once. Nothing dramatic, no sneaking out in the middle of the night. No final argument or slammed door. I just did my job. I hunted and killed across the galaxy. Away on business, my wife would tell people. I was always away on business. How long has it been since you talked? Ten years. He showed me some of his schoolwork and asked if we could dance crazy. We did that when he was younger. What sort of dance is that? It's... I checked my extranet contacts. I expect an update on my next target. The console plays music, old, unfashionable. Kolyat jumps into the room. My father runs around in circles. I scoop him up, toss him into the air. He shrieks, laughs, spin me. The console beeps. I put him down, click the message. Father, he pleads, tugs my sleeve. I need to read this, I say. I don't look at him. You spawned. Organic species tend to do that. Is that all you wanted to talk about? There have been complications. I used my contacts to trace Kolyat. He has become disconnected. He does what his body wills. Just give it to me straight. I'm not interested in your philosophical BS. He has gone to the Citadel, and has gained a job as a hitman. I could discover no more. 
You don't hire a raw rookie for a contract killing. I'm afraid someone may have seen we share a name, and assumed we share skills. I don't know why he would accept the task. To be closer to you, maybe? That thought haunts me more than any other. Thane, I don't have your contacts, and I don't have your tracking skills. Why do you need my help for this? I don't need your help. I want it. The last time I saw my son, they wrapped her body in sea vines. Weighted it with stones. He tries to pull from me. Calls for her. The hammer lift her off the platform. They sing like bells. The fire has gone to be kindled anew. He begs them not to take her away. They let her body slide into the water. He hits me. Don't let them. Stop them. Why weren't you? <sighs> rains. It always rains on Kaje. Warm water pours down his face. What made him go to the Citadel? Years ago, I prepared a package for him. A relic of my ill-spent life. I had Volus Bankers store it, and arranged for delivery when I died. He acquired it early. I don't really know how. I did wet work on the Citadel around the time his mother died. That may be why he went there. When there's a chance, we'll stop at the Citadel. But more than one person will die if we don't stop the Collectors. Yes, of course. I'll be meditating until you need me. Any chance we could get to the Citadel, Shepard? I'd like to follow that lead on Sidonis. I'll let you know, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. <laughs> 